Turkish. Um, good win in the end. It was looking a bit ropey at first. They could possibly have been 2-0 up, but the attacking play of Arsenal, again, getting us through. Yeah, yeah, got us through in the end. Like you said, the first half was pretty poor from us. Um, mm. We could have gone two down. Even at 1-1, they had that Mitrovic header. They should have scored that. Mm. They had three clear chances today, and that's one of the worst teams in the league. And we've given them three clear chances. Do you, do you think that's a bit like bit of the sort of obviously some of those defenders still very nervous and very but, delicate but, after that defeat at Liverpool but we have three centre-backs playing as three centre-backs today what's the problem mm. like I said people argue with me saying these centre-backs are good enough all three played in their correct position today and against one of the worst teams in the league we conceded three clear-cut chances and we made a change to the back line in the, in the straight away in the second half it improved us mm. but at 1-1 they could have scored again but I don't want to be standing here and then look, get Mr. Negativity, we won 4 1, he's chatting shit again, he's, he's down, mm. he's. It's, it's real. And our fans got to start being real. We won 4 1, great. Three mm. points matters because this season, personnel wise, we're not there. So the wins matter most, mm. performances come second. But be real as an Arsenal fan as well and say, we won 4 1 today, scoreline flattered us, mm. and it is one of the worst teams in the league. Mm. What do you think, Rob? Do you like. Well, yeah, I, listen, as I said, the, the, the defence at the start of the game was very dodgy. And we caught, I think, Sessegnon, I think it was, yep. should have scored twice. Yeah. And I, I was commenting to the guy next to me, if that was Liverpool, we'd have been 2-0 down. But the one thing that we do have in our Arsenal is up, fr up front, we've got very good players, very clinical players. I thought Lacazette again today, you know, um, and I thought Guendouzi done, done well in the midfield yeah, yeah, today. 100%. So. We, the potential's there, but the defence is the problem. For you, um, we're in January now, it's transfer time. Um, there's lots of talk about, say, a, a Cahill, for instance, oh, well, coming in. D, what, what? D, DT said it best last week. Are we still a banter club to be talking about Gary Cahill? Gary Cahill is shit. He was, he's never been the best centre-back at Chelsea during their winning period. He's had John Terry next to him. He's had David Luiz next to him. He's, he's, he's lost his England spot. He, he's, Gary Cahill is not a great centre-back. He's never has been. He needs a great centre back next to him. Not like just as a, like a filler no, player. I'm no, I'm tired of it. Come on, I'm Rob. Just this is another Scalacci and another Silvestro we're doing here if we get Gary Cahill. Mm. It's, a, it's another one of those. Um, we need to move on. From, what so other, would you, wait, wait, what other top six team would go and sign someone else's old centre back? Only Arsenal. Mm. What other top six team will go get banged 5 1? Only Arsenal. Why is, it, why is it us that do these things? And why, as fans, do we. Well, I'm just the, the only reason I'm saying about the KL thing is because obviously the, 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 the talk is that uh, January there's not going to be a lot of money available, and we know even to get those really top players in January is difficult. So, just I'm just saying from now, stop gap from now till the end of um, the no. season. No, no, no be, for you, no, because if we do that, it's the same old Arsenal. That's what we're, that's the message we're sending out to everyone else. The rest of the league is the same old Arsenal. We're not looking to fix our problems, we're looking for stop gaps and quick fixes to get us through and that, that's not good enough. At the end of the day, yes, we've heard David Ornstein say, oh, we haven't got a lot of money to spend. We'll have a bigger budget in, in the summer. But this is time for us not to accept that now. We shouldn't be discussing Gary Cahill. Every, all of us Arsenal fans should be like, no, are we crazy? Gary Cahill. But instead, here we are talking about, it's not just you, Rob. Mm. In, the, in the stands, someone asks me, what do I think about Gary Cahill? My Insta DMs, Gary Stop asking me about Gary Cahill, for fuck's sake. That's not the calibre of player we need at Arsenal right now. And that's that.